That was quite something. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy- I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We do-
point. You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. London and the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you the think... port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. <laughs> That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one was improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Now it's just ahead. Steady yourself. Repero. There. 
Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. Fucking let us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. 
No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. This is no ordinary Rebellion. vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again.
Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... All 
is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have a... I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to.
We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Jealous. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. <laughs> Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mmm. I wonder... Hmm... I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm... What is it? Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Possess a willingness to forge ahead alone when you must. Better be Gryffindor! And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. 
I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Rebellion! Protego! Lumos! Now, which way is the common room? Revelio. Must be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Is that new fifth year? They're looking in an end of the dragon. Like that poor man from the ministry. Nelly will do. She gets older every year. A little room, everyone. Let me Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon. It is true, but I, uh, we, handled it very well. I'll say. <laughs> I think you've already earned a reputation for fearlessness. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor, and Hogwarts for that matter. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I'd never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. I take it you're not afraid of heights? Hmm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But... With all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle, and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat, not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. 
I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Still not working. Ugh. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh. Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? No, I, I merely studied with him briefly before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. I'd say your wand work could be a bit more fluid. I... My wand work is fine, thank you. I can cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. I'm just going to keep at it. Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Is it really that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. It'll be the next butterbeer. Okay. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. You must be able to get away with anything. <laughs> the opposite, actually. Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. 